Now if you want to change the background of this screen so that we can click proper images, go to plot controls, select your style, select on colors and select reverse video. So this way the background color will change to white. So hello guys and welcome back to our channel simple random knowledge. So guys in today's video we are going to see how to perform stress analysis of a bar of a constant cross section area using ANSYS APDL software. So here you can see the question, we are supposed to determine the nodal displacement stress in each element and the reaction forces. This is the diagram which is given in the question and these are some values which we are going to use in our APDL software. So guys there are 77% of people who are watching my videos but they haven't subscribed to my channel. So guys I genuinely request to all you guys that please do subscribe to my channel because that gives me motivation to make such kind of videos for you guys. And if you have not watched my previous videos on SOLIDWORKS modeling, I will post the link in description as well as in our button. So guys without wasting any more time, let's start with today's video. So guys first of all we create one new folder and name this folder as FEA experiment. So here I have created one shortcut for FDL. But if you have not created a shortcut, go to search bar and search APDL and first result that you will get is Mechanical APDL Product Launcher 2019 R3. I am using 2019 R3 version. So guys, you will get this kind of interface where you are supposed to select working directory. So I will select the folder which we have created right now and click on OK and name your project as Experiment 1 and click on run. So guys this is the user interface for APDO software. Maximize this window. Whenever you are going to start some new project, first of all go to files and click on clear and start new and select do not read file and click on ok. Using this command ANSYS APDL clears all the previous data of your project and present you a new fresh window click on OK. Now we start with our experiment. First of all we are supposed to select the preference as structural and click on OK. So guys as we know in any experiment it has some pre-processing steps and post-processing step. So APDL provides same user interface for us. First we are going to do some pre-processing step. So click on this plus arrow and you will get some more options. In that click on element type and click on add. In this experiment we are going to use element as link so click on add and select your element type as link and make sure you have selected 3d 180 and click on ok and close this window. Now go to material properties click on material model click on structural linear elastic isotropic we have some values given in our question like e is equal to 2.1 small e 5 so we are going to use same values in our software 2.1 small e 5 and this value is 0 0.27 click on ok and close this window now go to section and select link click on add add link section with id is 1 click on ok section name is 1 link area will depend upon your question given in my case diameter is 50 so I am going to use a formula which is pi 22 by 7 into 50 raised to square. So in this software we have no other option to give 50 raised to square. So we are going to use 2 stars and then we write 2 divided by 4. So this is a formula you can directly calculate and input the values and then click on OK. And this way we have input the values of cross section. In some older versions you are supposed to input the value of cross section link in this real constant option but the versions about 2017 we get option to add the cross section area in this section tab. After this go to modeling and create select node and select option as inactive CS. Our first node will be number as 1 and the coordinates will be 0. Click on apply. Second node will be at 300 mm. So click on 300 and other coordinates will be 0. Click on apply and click on ok. 
so here you can see we have created two nodes now we go to elements click on auto number and select option through nodes first make sure you have selected p and then select node number 1 and node number 2 and click on okay so this will generate a line between these two nodes so this way we have completed our pre processing steps so now we move to our solution so click on solution tab and select option define loads click on apply select structural and displacement and select on node now select node number 1 and click on okay select here all degree of freedoms because if you have seen our question node number 1 is fixed on wall so we restrict all the degrees of freedom for node number 1 click on okay now we click on force movement and select here on node select node number 2 and click on okay now if you have seen our question node number 2 is free and the force acting on the node number 2 is along x direction so select direction as fx and the value will be positive 1500 click on okay you can cross check question we have set values as 1500 now we are done with applying loads on our nodes so we move to solve select here current ls and click on okay after few minutes you will get a prompt that solution is done click on close so guys these are some input data that we have used for our experiment if you want to copy this data select all press control c search for notepad and paste all your data on your notepad minimize this tab so guys this way we have completed with our solution now we move to the general post processing steps so select general post processing steps click on plot results select here deform shape and select deform plus undeformed results click on okay so guys here you can see the white line which shows the original length of our bar and this blue extended color is the deformed length of our bar now go to the list result option and we have seen that in the question they have asked that we are supposed to find the nodal displacement stress in each element and reaction forces so first of all we find a nodal displacement so click on nodal solution select here dof solution and select displacement vector sum click on okay and this will give the results for our experiment copy all this result press control c open our notepad and paste all your results over here again minimize this notepad so this way we get our nodal solution now we want the reaction solution so click on reaction solution now select all the items and click on okay this will give results for our reaction solution per node press control c and paste all your results on notepad minimize this notepad again now minimize this tab select element table and select define table click on add user label for this item will be stress scroll down this option and select by sequence number and in this case select ls and write number 1 click on okay now go to plot element table select your stress click on okay so this way we get maximum and minimum values of our stress acting on this bar go to option of list element table select your on stress click on okay and this way we get the maximum values and the minimum values which are acting on our bar so select all this thing press control c open your notepad and paste all your things on this notepad now go to plot and select multi plot and here you can see the numbering is missing so go to plot controls click on numbering and make sure the node numbering is turned on and then click on okay so this way we get numbering on our nodes go to plot results and select nodal solution select tof solution select displacement vector sum and then click on okay this will show the minimum and maximum values acting on our bar so the maximum value is 0.001091 now if you want a 3d image of our bar go to plot control select style select size and shape and make sure the display of element is turned on 
and then click on OK. So this way we get a 3D image. Select here isometric view. So here you can see the isometric view of our bar. Now if you want to change the background of this screen so that we can click proper images. Go to plot controls. Select here style. Select on colors. And select reverse video. So this way the background color will change to white. Now if you want to animate this experiment. Go to plot control. Select animate. Select deform shape. And select deform and undeformed results. You can change the number of frames and then click on OK. So here you can see the animation and this video will be saved to your folder that you have selected. Click on stop and close. Now if you want to take images of your results, go to plot controls, select hard copy to file and select the file format as GPEG. You can change the name and click on OK. And if you want image of nodal solution, follow the same procedure. Go to plot control, select hard copy to file, select file format as GPEG and then click on OK. And now save your analysis. Now minimize this window. Now this is the folder that we have used for our experiment. Now here you can see the video of animation that we have created. And here are the images that we have clicked using our ANSYS software. So guys, this way we have completed our stress analysis of a bar of constant cross section area. If you have liked this video, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon near it and share this video among your friends. So guys, if you have not watched my previous videos on SOLIDWORKS, I will post a link in description as well as in i button. Until our next video on analysis of step bar, stay safe and happy learning.